story of Martha is dead and its future character is a work of fiction. Yeah. Oh, if you or someone you know is struggling, information and crisis resources are available at safeinourworld.org slash find help. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh! I wonder if there's supposed to be a border around... Ciao. Sono Giulia. Giulia K. Giulia Sono Kappa? contenta che tu sia qui. Nessuno veniva più a trovarmi. Da anni ormai. Devo raccontarti la mia storia, lo so, ma non so da dove cominciare. Ci sono così tante cose che... Dovrei iniziare dalla mia infanzia, ma di quel periodo ricordo così poco. Solo quell'estate, era il 29, mi sembra, quando fui mandata a stare dalla tata. Oh, shit. I think it was default Italian. New chapter, The Legend, Summer 19. Tata, mi racconti la storia della Dama Bianca? No, passerotto, non questa sera. Sta salendo... Let me see if I can go to English. Although I don't mind the Italian. La nebbia, vedi? Yes. I know that when it's foggy, the lady kills young women. But why is she so evil? You see, Julia, pain and suffering can make us do evil things. Even if we're not actually bad. English like is good. soldiers have to kill other soldiers. I like the lady I've decided, Nanny. She must be in so much pain. The poor dear. She still scares me a little, though. Soon I'll be a young woman. And she could kill me. Does she kill those who love her? Of course not. That makes me feel better because I love her. But what about Martha? Would she be in danger? Oh my god, your Martha. Your sister is with your mother. So do not worry. Do you miss them? No. I mean, yes. I miss Martha a little. But I love spending time with you. Now, go to sleep, little sparrow. It's getting late. Okay, Nanny. I'll go to sleep and dream of the lady. Was she beautiful? She was beautiful. Yes. Very much so. Then she'll be beautiful in my dreams. And will I be beautiful just like her? You'll be even more beautiful. Oh, Listen, God. Annie. Since the lady won't harm me because I love her, and since you're not a young woman, could you tell me her story? Even if it's foggy outside. Please. Oh, please. Then I'll sleep. I promise. Oh, all right. You always get your own way. Oh my god. Alright, the story. About I Martha. I love Nanny and I love that story. Oh. Every time I heard it, it sounded like a new and more mesmerizing tale. Every night I would ask her to tell me about it. Even though it scared me. Even now I can remember every single day of that time and how happy I was. A white lady. Move the camera. Oh, shit. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. <gasps> she was expecting a lover's stroll by the lake, gazing out at the old tree growing on the lake's island. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. Oh, this isn't a good story for a kid. Oh, the poor dear. That's not fair. Life isn't fair, Poppet, but that's the way it is. Yeah, the graphics and are crazy good. We must learn to deal with it. Okay, I'll try, but it makes me so mad. Keep on reading, Nanny. I'm not surprised, though. This was one of the cooler, scary games coming out. In despair, out. the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. Oh, 
so, he was hanged on the small island, in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed the girl. Oh! They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Someone send this lady Dr. Seuss. Jesus. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, has been imprisoned in the depths of the lake. She grieves eternally for the loss of the man she loved. When fog arises, the White Lady is known to leave the waters of the lake and roam the woods, looking for her long lost love in vain. Damn. Within the fog of dawn, hunters have claimed to hear the wailing of a woman in the distance. Speak up. I'm a little scared of this story, even though I like the lady. Should I stop reading, my little sparrow? No, lady. Daddy. daddy always tells me that fear must be faced. Go ahead. Oh. Okay, honey. The lady. Every time the sad memory of the night she perished stirs in her soul. She takes the life of a young woman by slaying such a life in its youth. Even just for an instant, the lady feels free from the burden of her pain. Just like that. <gasps> All right. Damn, this game has Good night, Nanny. RTX and DLSS. Good night, my love. Let's see. I remember the demo looked fucking wicked good graphically. Uh oh. I spent almost three years with the nanny, but when I came home, I quickly forgot how to be happy. My memories do not return until 15 years later, in 1944, when I stayed in that house. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals, or whatever else was in that damned place. Damn, yo, she's obsessed with this shit. New chapter, the lake. Oh yeah, you can see your feet in this game, your legs. All right. Nice little camera here. Some RTX fingernails. Reel off the film. I think I did it. Open the camera. All right. Remove the old roll of film. Put the new film in. Put the new film in. Close the hood. Close the camera. Load the film. Activate the timer. And... Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. Almost. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. What the hell is that? Oh, oh, there is. What the hell is that? <laughs> spend entire days daydreaming. I would lose myself in my thoughts, but that was a rude awakening. So terrible. It looks like a nose in the background constantly. Are 
actually know how to swim? Okay. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. Uh -oh. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. Martha. It was my sister. Oh. My twin, a part of me. Dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. Her sister. I have to stay calm. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Martha is not dead. It's Martha. It's not possible. It's not true. I, I think I think she's dead. There's no need to worry. Will be fine. The locket. I have to stay calm. Oh, she just like Martha, ripped that off. February 26th, 1923. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? What the fuck? What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run. Oh. My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade. So I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. Wait, so they're twins? I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever. Cause she was wearing, she weared Martha's necklace. If it's a little laggy, I need to bring it back to DX11. Sign.
come in here and drop it off herself. Parla Londra. Trasmettiamo alcuni messaggi speciali. Am I putting the flowers in her hands? È cessata la pioggia. La mia barba è bionda. Hey, yeah, where am I putting the flowers? Parla Londra. Abbiamo trasmesso alcuni messaggi speciali. Uh, secret World War II message? Oh, I see. Right here. <gasps> what is that? Bell toll. What's happening? Who closed the door? What the fuck? Oh! Yeah, who the hell just closed the door, man? Erich, Erich, wake up! Do you think it's appropriate to sleep here, of all places? What? Hmm? Yes. I must have fallen asleep. Erich! What are they talking about? You can't stay here forever. Why don't you go to bed? No, no. I want to stay with my daughter. Your daughter? Your daughter? You have another daughter, you know. The one who's still alive. Whoa. Remember? What are you talking about, Irena? Julia is dead. What kind of comment is that? How can you? You should be thinking about Martha. Julia harmed Martha. You know that, right? And as if that were not enough, she has now also abandoned her. It's the same old story. Everything is always Julia's fault, isn't it? The hell, her fault man. for Martha being deaf and for you being infertile. Oh. Do you think it's the right time for this? Julia is dead, Irena. Dead. Someone killed her. Do you realize that? Of course I realize. I get it. Do you think I'm stupid? No one understands it better than me. She always brought problems. Only problems. It would have been better if she hadn't been born at all. You're crazy. Jesus, that I'm was the loud. crazy one? Me? have done this to get at me, yes. Your death is all my fault. All I could ever do for you was hurt you, Julia. My poor, sweet, crazy girl. What will I do without you? What will life be like now? All the time I didn't spend with you. But now I'm home. We can go fishing together. We can take pictures of butterflies. Butterflies? No. We can't do anything together anymore, can we? Nothing. I miss you, Julia. I miss you. Oh, God. While American bombings continue to devastate the peaceful towns within the Elsa Valley, we have heard some tragic news oh from my the area of La Ramola. The young daughter of German Army General Erich K. was murdered near her home. What possible reason could there have been behind such a cowardly act? This is what the Carabinieri, who immediately intervened, hoped to find out. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's a general. Mother didn't seem to suffer from the situation. All she cared about was that my death was so painful for Martha. But not having me around anymore must have been a great relief to her. At the end of the day, it was better for everyone that it was me who died. And it was better for me too that people thought that. But the guilt began to consume me. That's when I started having horrible nightmares. Nightmares. Oh, Martha has found 
No, Martha has lost my, her, her soul. I got it. Identity. Life. Identity. Life. Fuck. I... Still... Her... La identity. Identity. Life. Life. I... <laughs> Her identity, identity, identity. Did I do this in the demo? Or did was the demo like pieces? This part, oh yeah. Oh god. Oh yep, yep. This part's fucked up. Jesus. What the fuck? I think they removed this scene from the PlayStation version. It was like some Texas Chainsaw Massacre shit. That's how Julia became Martha. It was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. All right. I think it's time to get up. Oh. This is Martha and me at the Festival of the Patron Saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Isn't that like a famous painting, Martha fucking creepy asked ass? for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? New chapter, The Room. 
scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. Yeah, I think this game... Oh, yeah, this is... Yeah, I'm gonna switch off and go to DX. Um, maybe it's just ray tracing fucking it. What if I just shut ray tracing off? That lag is, like, fucking horrible. Oh, yeah, it was ray tracing. And then, if anything, it's DX12 in this game doing it. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. There's some screen tearing. Mm, let me try going borderless windowed or full screen windowed. Did that fix it? I, th I want to say it did. Martha? Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Oh, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, wear her clothes. Or wear your clothes. Can I be Martha without her clothes? Mummy never wanted us to swap, so I don't know how she will take it. I could wear Martha's clothes instead in the other wardrobe. Mm, I mean, I guess if we're... I mean, she's she's... I mean, I guess it makes sense to wear Martha's clothes. See how she's already saying she's Martha. Right? But to then remember her sister, she wears her clothes, maybe? I don't know. I always keep my trinket box locked. They're both locked. What's this? Oh gosh, if Mummy sees this picture, she'll throw it away for sure. It's me and Lapo. I want to see him as soon as possible so we can mourn Martha's death together. Lapo? The butterfly collection that Daddy made for me. Lapo! Nanny will be visiting me soon. Okay, I think we did everything in here. Yeah, this game looks fucking insane, man. I wonder if, like, the border... I wonder if you can remove the border. I don't think you can. I think it's just, like, a... Streamer mode? No, thank you. Everything I need is always in my bag. B to open the bag. Okay, we have a key option on the bottom left. Now, try selecting the key on the map. The key to my trinket box. Oh. What's in here? Here is my diary. Julia's diary. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. I see. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just picture. being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, 
Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, it seems like... I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. My bad, chat. It seems like the audio is kind of all over the place. So, if I lower the FX... And the music, and the... And... Then turn up my mixer. Let's see if that does it. And then I'll turn V-Sync on if you guys are seeing tearing. I don't know what the fuck to do about that. Oh, maybe that actually Fine, fixed it. I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Wait, what? Bag? Oh, we have a map as well. Wait, not to talk? What are you going to do? Not talk your whole life now? Yeah, Martha was deaf. So this is Julia pretending to be Martha. Oh yeah, true. I, I forgot about that detail. How wonderful the snow is. Unfortunately, it doesn't snow often around here. Yeah, Martha was deaf. Oh, huh, can I go? Okay, that's locked. I wonder if this game's Unreal Engine 5. Dad loves these prints of Florence. I find them a bit sad. But it must be Unreal Engine 4. That makes way more sense, to be honest. It's locked. Strange. Why did they lock my room? Oh yeah, it is locked. Walking downstairs. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. Uh, I promise. The thought makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. Hey, yo, we false man. Thank do. you, man. We can't stay here all day talking. Thank you for the 20 gifties. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. All right. The camera. Chocolate. A privilege for few people in these times. Requirements, the camera. I must put one of my photos in the empty frame. I always said to Martha I would, but never did. She would have liked it so much. I like to always have my camera with me when you least expect it. The opportunity for the first shot presents itself. <coughs> for Julia, to take more and more photos. Dad. Bless me. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. Hold Bread, up. butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's mm. typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but I'll have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. A newspaper. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put brutal assassination in Whoa. San Casciano. Julia Kay. A young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. 
she was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Julia K. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announce Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. I see. Firm bulwark even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defence shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. And we already... Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. What's this? First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. Okay, I think we're good with this. Everything's depressing in that. Okay. I liked watching Nanny as she cooked. Ooh, it's I a nice kitchen. Up loads of techniques. Ah, it's nice in here. Oh yeah, her body is still here. Poggy Bonzi. On the day Poggy of Bonzi? Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bombing. Our Lady of Carmel, a company of the Falchium Regiment counterattacked yesterday, forcing the French to retreat to Piazza del Mercato. The situation is currently under control. All right, what is this? It's like a, oh, it's a letter. Florence, July 15th, 1944. General Erich K. As per our prior agreement, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The device must remain hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. What the fuck? Wait, so is her dad like a Nazi or some shit? Must be. What's down here? You're so lucky. In these difficult times, pantries are empty and people are going hungry. But with a German oh. general for father, food is never scarce. Oh, shit. Lorenzini haberdashery. Five meters of gray cotton fabric. Six meters of white linen fabric. Four meters of green satin. Delivered on June 5th, 1944. In the event of an issue, contact us on the number 6987. And this red fabric? It's not been mentioned. Could this also be one of mummies, or could the nanny have left it here? A knife. Or scissors, not a knife. These could be of use to me. What the fuck? Those are some fucking weird-ass looking scissors. Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? Mummy's sewing machine. She learnt how to sew because nobody else could do it to her liking. Oh yeah, it's fabric scissors. Oh, shit. That's not- oh, it's wine. Looks like blood. Our wine. Daddy is so proud of it. Hmm. Daddy set up his darkroom here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the darkroom when I want to. Um, try taking a photo of a sparrow outside to test the camera properly. Yeah, let me go do that real quick. Gotta do this after. Uh 
All right. Damn, yo. This game is definitely wicked pretty. Looks really, really good. Fuck, man, those fucking spikes. All right, we're looking for a sparrow. I mean, there's a bunch. Maybe there's one chilling somewhere? Oh, right here. Can I take the camera out? You're about to use Julia's camera. It's a 1940 roll cord with 120 millimeter film. You'll use it to take photos throughout the game. Some photos will have hidden elements that will progress the game's story. While on the camera, an icon will appear to indicate points of photographic interest. The icon will appear and become clearer the closer you are. Press E to see your camera and any fitted attachments. No camera skin unlocked. Fuck, I need to get the battle pass. Look for the subject you want to photograph and press to continue. Okay. Right here. You're about to take your first picture. The picture preview displays the settings as you change them on your camera. In real life, the viewfinder's image is controlled by the secondary lens and only responds to focus. It does seem like I'm, like, angled weird. Um, prepare for your first picture. If you stand still, you'll be able to find two in the camera, pitch, and height. Open the advanced setting panel to make your picture unique. Use the panel's controls to adjust focus, exposure, and aperture. Press to switch to the extra tabs. You'll find all the camera's add-ons will be... Okay, uh, okay, we can con cl uh, close this. After closing the window, adjust the camera and press space to shoot. Okay, so I don't want to shoot it just yet. The height. The inclination. Uh, and... The focus. Exposure and aperture. Okay, let's get it like right here. With a nice exposure. Very nice. And eh, fuck it. I'm fine with this. Can we zoom, bro? Can I get some fucking zoom in this shit? No zoom? Alright. You're about to where an important feature of the story hasn't been correctly framed. You can continue, but the story may not progress. What the fuck? I'm gonna go closer. Oh, I can actually walk closer. Lol. Done. Yes! Congratulations. Thank you. I literally- I can't continue. It's just stuck. Soon you will learn how to develop. I understand. Excellent. Oh, there I've we go. taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. It was like stuck. All right, let's go to the dark room. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. I can't allow myself to forget. Martha. All right. I think we're going to put the photo here. Okay. I remember. Just like that. Click it on. Open this shit. Get the paper. You have to use the enlarger. The enlarger is an optical instrument that allows you to process a photographic paper. After you've run on the film, must be developed in several steps. The aspect has been omitted for the sake of simplicity, but in reality, the steps are as follows. The film is first rolled on a reel and put inside a small tank. The tank is then immersed in the developer, washed, and then immersed in a stop bath. Choo okay, we'll figure it out. Kind of. Yes, develop this. That looks creepy. That's such a bad picture. The enlarger allows you to customize your photos even more. You can choose on which part of the paper the picture will be printed. Use the controls to move the paper on the bench and to adjust the magnification and focus. When the three circles are aligned, the picture is focused. If you still see the image out of focus, you probably shot it that way. I like this song. 
I think we're good right there. When the red filter is removed, the image is exposed onto the paper. This process has been automated and made faster than what happens in real life. There you go. Immerse the paper in the developer and the image will appear. To achieve ideal exposure, take the paper out of the developer. When the timer is in the green zone, if you take the paper out too early or too late, the picture will be ruined. In real life, immersion in developers followed by a wash, a stop bath, and then a second wash. There it is. Not ah. a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. Nice. Put it in the album. All right. I would have. Yeah, I would have rather waited thirty minutes. There are minutes. three baths when developing photos: the development bath, then the first rinse, and then the fixing bath. The second rinse is done directly in the sink afterwards. Who the fuck figured that shit out, man? Taking baths and shit with pictures? How can she talk if she is deaf? Her sister's deaf. She's not deaf. Um. Okay. Martha always reads the newspaper. I have to do the same as her uh, requirement. A tripod is needed, then I can take a self-portrait. The one that my father left on could work. Wait, I'd like to always have my camera with me when you at least I know I'm a shot. Wait, there's a tripod. Did I miss the tripod somewhere? I'm assuming I gotta go find it. Wait, is that a tripod right there? Oh, it is. Nice. A self-portrait. Looking good. The camera is set up with the self-timer. You are not aligned with the chair, though. Yeah, this is like a horror game. Start timer. Smiling, sulky, sulky. Done. How are we looking? How are we looking? Got the camera roll. You want me to go develop? Develop the photo. Okay. So first it was the sparrow, now it's a selfie of me. Uh oh. Monka Extreme. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me. But I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy. I think, I think, I think that's on point. Right there? I'm thinking right there. Yeah, they're twins. Done. All right, now we gotta soak it. Oh, oh, yo, the, the way the water moves in the tray looks fucking crazy.
There she is. Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. Done. The soul in the photo. I was obsessively thinking about Martha and what had happened. But suddenly, a thought took control. The memory of that day at the lake was becoming more and more like a dream when, after awakening, the image becomes more and more faded. Could it be that the memories were a figment of the mind? Had I been the one that hurt my sister? I had always envied her, and now I had taken her identity. I experienced a suffocating pattern of thoughts. I decided to go straight to the lake to retrieve the film rolls. They would tell a different story, I was sure. But deep down, I kept hoping they would confirm my fading memory. Oh, shit. Of course the door is locked. If the keys aren't hanging on the lock as usual, then they will be in Daddy's study. We live in fear now. My parents are not going to let me go to the lake anymore after Martha's death. So this is the right time. I need to know. The self-doubt I feel is eating me up. A fucking lighter, man. New chapter, the rolls. The same day, 11.30. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The lighter can be accessed from Julia's bag when not in use. What do I have here? Bag. Oh, is this the notebook? Of course it is. Oh, the diary. July 18th. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my Martha. desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. <sighs> Yet another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's, my sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me, thinking I was Martha, and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake, and now it's too late. If they find out I have been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha, pretending to be deaf. Yeah, you should feel guilty. For what the fuck is friend. this? I know it's too late now, and I felt incredible pain placing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. The partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them, so it's just impossible. God damn, bruh. Where's my fucking lighter? There it is. Wait, so what am I doing right now? Just like walking in the night? Creepy. Take a photo of Martha. Find the key. The front door. Go to the lake. Hey, I might continue this game another time though. I'm a next game it though.